we need to go back to our roots as africans we need to go back to our roots and by our roots i mean not paying for stuff that we're not supposed to be paying for there's no reason whatsoever we should be paying for food when you can grow it on soil in our land our ancestral lands there's no single reason why we should be paying for water because literally just get a tank and put it in the rain and collect the bloody water yourself there's no single reason why we should be paying for to go to school because if you have a skill just teach your children we need to go back to our roots and it sounds crazy when i say it right now but capitalism is crumbling and they're going to try and take us with them if you don't already know they have all our seeds all african seeds are stored because they foresee a time where everything is going to crumble and it's coming very very soon and literally someone said here on this app that our future as africans is in the past is in how we used to do things in the past that is our future which means we all have to go back to understanding who we are how we farmed how we lived who we worship not worship who we connected to because the word worship is very colonized there's no such thing as worship in the african culture we connected for example in my community if a child is born we slaughter um an animal either a cow usually a smaller animal like a sheep and the blood is poured on the ground to connect to our ancestors it was not for a form of worship it was connecting the child the newborn child to the ancestors that was the significance of it we connected to earth we literally remember how <laughs> ha yo remember how there was a time when not wearing shoes was a uh, barbaric pover po- a sign of poverty it was because you're not and uh, learned uh, you know our parents used to give us those stories of struggle where they didn't have shoes and in real sense now it's grounding it's you know it's cool when they do it it's barbaric when we do it just saw a video of um italians building the exact same houses our ancestors have been building for years but now it's a fairy tale and it's cool and it's preserving nature because it's always cool when they do it but barbaric when we do it you know camping Camping is literally how Africans used to live on a day-to-day basis. Once you're done with farming, you just chill. Now suddenly, oh the sun is very important for you. It's sad- the sun is really good for you, but when we do it, we were lazy. We are sun-, sun I remember there's a time in high school when we were not allowed to sunbathe because it was lazy. Go and read, go and be constructive. The thing that is most essential to me as a black woman with this skin being out in the sun was demo- was was lazy now our arts and craft that was apparently we worshiped because like i said wo- the word worship is very colonized it's very whitewashed there's no such thing as worship when it comes to african culture that is something that was put in us to make us feel i don't know like we are inferior to them how you're worshiping the wind what are you a psycho do you know that we, we, instead of literally i'm just breathing in air because the wind has all the air that i need and then someone is going to be like oh no that's been you need to worship a god you don't see because apparently now that's superior you know something you can't even there's no evidence they've never been able to show us proof that this god exists but somehow when we worship when we connect to see i'm also trying to unlearn it when we are connecting to elements that actually exist we are the damn ones and there's a lot of white washing and that's why i keep saying and i'm going to keep saying let's go back to our past and the best way of doing that is learning about our past without the white washing realizing what's true what's the lie which one was white washed which one was put negatively Another thing that I have realized and I need people to come to terms with is we used to be very close with animals what they call wild animals once upon a time we did in fact relate to and we lived in harmony with animals and I need people to understand that and there's a reason why they they used to say oh Africans do you guys have like pet 
horse pet elephants and pet leopards and it was put in such a negative connotation to make you feel like that's a stupid thing but when you really think about it imagine having a lion as a pet that's some cool as fuck shit and that's the thing we did have lions these stories are not something we imagined and there's a reason there's such a negative connotation towards having a pet lion and a pet cheetah and a pet elephant and a pet giraffe. It's because we literally had them, not as pets, but as companions on this earth, on this Africa. In this, in this continent, we did in fact have animals. And I recently saw that and I recently understood that it reached a point in time when a child was growing up, they will, be, they will go out and find an animal and they will connect on a soul to soul, hence the word spirit animal, literally. Spirit animal is the animal that you connected to on a spiritual level. That's what, that was a thing we did. And people, and we were so brainwashed such that we, you had to, to, to like defend yourself. Oh no, we are very developed. We're very developed. We don't have pet animals. We don't have pet wildlife. As if it's such a bad thing to have. Imagine having a bloody lion in your room and it's completely under- and you guys connect and it, it protects you you guys go out there and feed together you hunt together god damn that's some cool as shit why did we ever what, who made us feel like it was wrong to do that because I generally i want i want a pet lion and a snake and a elephant i want all of them because why not we need to go back to our roots man Hey, there's so much to discover.